I'm going to use this cup of tea to show you how to play triplets against eighth notes. Triplets appear against eighth notes or quavers if you're in the UK all of the time in music, from Chopin to Liszt and Debussy. So how do we go about playing the polyrhythms or the cross rhythms, as they're sometimes known, these two, two against three? Let's consider first what the beat will be. So let's take our beat as a quarter note. That's our quarter note. And inside that, we're going to fit two eighth notes. And then what we need to consider is our triplet. So three inside of the one quarter note. Then try alternating. A good practice exercise would be to go between the eighth notes and the quavers. Then you'll get the kind of ratios, if you like, of the quarter notes, the triplets, and the eighth notes. I'm Dominic from pianomentoring.com, and if you haven't already, please do like and subscribe to the channel. As we saw from our Chopin, our Liszt, and our Debussy, they often appear at the same time. You have triplets in one hand and quavers in the other. So this is where my nice cup of tea comes in. From this diagram, what we can see is our quarter notes, our eighth notes, and our triplets here at the bottom. And as you can see, the eighth notes don't tie in neatly with the triplets at the bottom. You can probably see I've labeled them nice, cup of tea. And that's the order that we play or tap these notes in. We've already tried doing the quarter notes against the eighth notes and the quarter notes against the triplets. So now let's have a go at doing the eighth notes against the triplets. And what we're going to think is the nice, the cup of tea. And we're going to try the triplets in the left hand to begin with and the eighth notes in the right hand. The first two come together on nice. We have the cup we have the of, and then we have the T. Now we just have to do them together. So we have nice cup of T. Nice cup of T. It's best to try and feel these rhythms and remember the feeling than try to calculate everything. A feeling is remembered much better than a, a calculation is. It may also help to think together, left, right, left. Together, left, right, left. Together, left, right, left. Together, left, right, left. Before applying it to your piece, you can try just doing it with a simple exercise on the piano. So take C, D, E in your right hand and A and G in the left hand. So we're going to play the triplet in the right hand and the eighth notes in the left hand. And now swap it over. Take C and D in the right hand and A, G, F in the left hand. Then you can try applying it to your piece as well. Don't forget to like this video if it did help you, and please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell to stay up to date with all of our latest videos.